An H lookup is very similar to a V lookup, but operates in a horizontal plane compared to a vertical plane. In this video, we'll discuss the formula and walk through specific examples. An H lookup is used to return the value from a horizontal lookup table. This is a similar table as our V lookup exercise, where we have a subsection of employees that we want to return the employee name, the hire date, the rating, the salary, and the salary bucket for. So if I use an H lookup, I can type equals H lookup, and it says looks for a value in the top row of a table or array of values, where our V lookup looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table. So that's the difference. V lookup will look at the leftmost column. H lookup will look at the top row. What arguments does an H lookup take? It takes the lookup value, the table array, row index number, range lookup. So our lookup value is the common identifier between our two tables. This will be our employee number. I'll lock that in its column, leave the row flexible, and then select my table array. I want to select my whole table, use F4 to lock that in place, and then select my row index number. Because I want to return the employee number, which is the second row in my table, I will put two. I want an exact match, so I'll put false, and then fill that down. Looks to be working correctly, 7273 is Hugo first, that is right in our table. If I go to the higher date, I can copy this formula over, and all I need to do is change the row index number. I can change this from two to three. And now I have the higher dates for each one of my employees. I can do the same thing for the rating. I would just need to change this row index number to four. And that is a very easy way to set this up. If I wanted to do this for the salary, I could copy over this formula. And again, just change this row index number to number five because it is the fifth row in my table. If I want to find salary buckets, I can also use an H lookup. So H lookup on our salary, our table array will be our salary bucket table locked in place. And then our row index number will be two as we want to return the bucket, which is in the second row of our table. We want to use an approximate match here, and then we can fill that down. And now we have each one of our salaries in different salary buckets. One bonus tip here is we did this with an H lookup. You can also do this with an index match equals index of what we want. Let's say we want the employee name. I will highlight this array. I will lock it in place. My row number will be one and my column number will be identified with my match. So I'll use a match on my employee number, lock that in its column. And then my lookup array will be my employee number in my lookup table, locked in place, exact match and fill that down. And now we've done the same exact thing, but with an index match instead of an H lookup.